Divorced and left on her own with three small children to care for, Kelly Lewis decided to turn her life around and literally rebuild it with her bare hands. When you got divorced, you had three small kids. Can you tell me about them? what you were going through mentally and emotionally? Things were not in my life going the way that I had hoped, career-wise, relationship-wise, personally. And that is when I dealt with my most severe depression and having medical attention to address that. Like, I'm 29. I mean, I, under, I know I have three children, but I'm still just 29, and this doesn't have to be the end. And so that's when I made the decision to buy a piece of land. And I just started doing more research and came across this whole tiny house movement. And I just thought that was so fascinating because again, it came back to what is most important to me and finding that meaning for myself. Come on in. It's so cool. It's so tiny. It is. <laughs> How big is the actual space? It's 192 square feet, uh, 12 feet wide by 16 feet long. And this is a work in progress, obviously. Oh, most definitely, <laughs> most definitely. How long have you been building this? Third summer, so um, two years. Aside from the framing, the shell of the house, have you done everything else on your own? Yes, mm -hmm. everything from insulation. Um, I did have someone come in and do electric and show me how to do that. But everything else has been done, and I've had friends come help me and family help me. And, um, and your kids? And my kids have helped. What are some of the bigger challenges that you face building the house? The design part was a challenge. There was no computer, there was nothing. I literally used a ruler and a pencil with a good eraser and um, designed it as I went. And I ended up hiring someone to build the shell and then I've taken it from there. Watching YouTube videos on how to install things or make things, you know, from a composting toilet to a wood burning stove chimney and things that keep you off grid. A lot of the things that I've used, such as the windows and doors and the stove, um, have all been recycled materials. I think. A lot of people, especially in today's society, always want more and something bigger and better and, you know, I'm guilty of that too. But if it takes away from you appreciating the smaller things and things that you do have, I think that's where there's a disservice. What has that meant for you to be able to build this cabin with your children? Kids tend to stereotypically learn these types of things from a dad or from a male figure, but they're learning that from their mom. And they get to see nature in the process, and I think that's really cool. What do you think this house symbolizes to you? Well, it started as a symbol of a new beginning. However, it's become something more. It's a rebuilding of a life. Everything from every screw or nail that's been put into the cabin has some sort of symbolic story and meaning for me. You know, looking back, would I change anything? And I don't think I would. I'm a stronger person for it, and by having being a stronger person myself will allow me to be a stronger teacher and create stronger children. Be sure to check out this next episode. Two years of trash in this tiny little jar. My values are having a really low environmental impact. I have to live like I want that. And so that's why I decided to change my lifestyle.